What's up, guys? Welcome back to more Emerge NYC gameplay. It is once again Emergency Monday, and we're going to be doing some nighttime uh, calls on the Montgomery County map. You definitely want to catch this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, and let's get started. All right, guys, it is once again Emergency Monday. The weekend went by way too fast, but the good news is it is Emergency Monday. And uh, like I said, we're on Montgomery County. We've already got a call in for a car wreck. Uh, this is a nighttime run. It is at midnight, though time is not advancing. It is standing still. Uh, but this is one of my absolute favorite calls on the entire ma map. I just, I really like it for some reason. Look at that blue roto ray. Does that not look amazing or what? That looks good. Okay, let's head to the wreck. And oh, we'll see what is going on. We're not going to go crazy with the siren and the horn. It is midnight. We don't want to piss everyone off in town. I know here, like where I live, they they don't, they hardly use them. Like you don't ever hear them at night. I think they just kind of roll silent, unless they uh, unless they need to do it. But uh, I live out in the boonies, so we don't have a lot going on here at night. Let's make this turn here. Once again, this is with a Logitech steering wheel and pedals. Uh, I love my wheel and pedals, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult on this map. It's like the uh, wheel just does not want to center fast enough because of the turns, you know. And I, I like I love the amount of force feedback I have. In most instances, it's perfect, but on this particular one, it's not because the uh, turns and curves are so extreme. All right, there we go. We've got a car into a tree with a fire. Yeah, that's bad. That's <laughs> that's no bueno. This is really bad. Okay, uh, get out. Where are you at? Do we got here? Yeah, that's not good. Damn, that's really bad. All right. Thing we're gonna do is just uh, bust out some water on it real fast. Uh, is there a quick attack on the front? I don't see one. Where's the quick attack? Do we have a quick attack somewhere? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know if this one does or not. I hardly ever use quick attacks. I'll be honest. Sometimes they're kind of a pain and they're never long enough. They're never uh, what you need. At least for me. Like every time I've tried to use a quick attack line, uh, you make it to within about 20 or 30 feet of what you need to put water on and then it's not going any further. All right, let's get you. Let's get the pump. Not sure how the patient treatment's going to work out on this, so we'll just have to wait and see. All right, there we go. I can't jump, though, because... Oh, come on, dude. You can't, like, step over that. You know what? Fine. I, I don't even have a way to uh, turn the pump on and off. Y yeah, I, I wasn't sure about Montgomery County. I wish we could uh, do that from the line, like, usually. Question is, can we do it now? Nope. There we go. Now we're jumped across. Okay, that worked out. Now let's hit it. So far, we're not off to a good start on this. Not off to a good start. Let's keep getting some water on it. Water sounds a little wonky hitting those leaves in that tree there. Tree is the tree moving around? It looks like it is, isn't it? Dude, you are you are so fine. Like this it should be a non-issue. <laughs> it should be a non-issue. Why are you coughing and hacking? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how patient treatment is going to go in this. We may have to pronounce them dead on the scene. We'll see. Uh, it looks like we got the fire. It's taken care of though. Yeah, we're out of water, so I, it's going to have to be taken care of, or else we're going to have to get something else. You know what? Let's put this away. Put you away. We don't need that anymore. And we'll kill the pump. And I think what we're going to do now is roll the rescue. The old school rescue, because I love that truck. That is such a sharp little truck. There you go. Rescue engine spare. Let's grab him. Confirm. And... We'll jump on and get going. Yeah, the second time I've done this particular call, I really liked it the first time. I thought it was a lot of fun because it gave you a lot of different things. You had fire, uh, you had tree removal, you had patient care, like you had all kinds of stuff going on. And this time we're doing it at night, so it adds a little twist to it. 
And luckily, it's just going to be right around the corner. Unfortunately, the rescue engine does not have a scene light either. I was really hoping to put a scene light on the uh, wreck scene. There we go. All right, let's set this parking brake. And I think what we're going to need to do is to uh, bust out a chainsaw and Scott, it sounds like she's got a squeaky belt, right? I think we do. I think we have a, uh, a squeaky belt. Well, you know, what? we'll fix that uh, a little deodorant, put some deodorant on your belt and it'll take care of it. It'll go right away. All right. Um, <laughs> this little tip from uh, Uncle Spur. All right. Uh, we need a chainsaw where is the chainsaw because these people are all the time taking my tools and they put them back in the wrong spot i never know where anything is at on these trucks because it's all the time being moved around um there we go what is all this uh ems bag ems oh okay weird pick up and return ems bag all right let's see if we can do something with the um with the tree All right, let's get down here and man, they had a bad night. Honestly, don't know if this is gonna work, guys. There we go, sweet, okay, we got it that time. Good job, all right, let's move this out of the way if we can. Oh, push, <laughs> push. Uh, you can't seem to move it, I guess it's okay there. All right. All right, let's put our saw back. And we'll check on the patient. If there's anyone even in there, stranger things have happened. I mean, the car was on fire. They, I mean, they could have got out and left it for all I know. Uh, it looks, yes, there is someone in there. I don't know if this, uh, or it's going to work, but his license, we may just find his license. His wallet was laying on the ground. His name's Chet Werner. He is a male. Males have the worst luck in Emerge NYC. I'm serious, all the time. <laughs> males have really bad luck. Uh, let's see, patient is not breathing, he's got black soot. Yeah, we know that whole routine. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing out, yeah. Uh, so no like visible trauma. No visible trauma, he's just, uh, he's dead. Basically he's dead, he must have died in the fire. Um, all right, let's, <laughs> let's pull this down. This is not good. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring him back. Um, yeah, shoot. I don't know. Let's get a backboard. I think let's get a backboard and we'll get them loaded up and we'll see about if we can start CPR and all that stuff. I hope we can get a backboard off this. There we go. Uh, we could do stoke. Maybe we could do. St yeah, I, I'm going to do backboard. I think backboard would be fine. I think, I think we need to pop these doors off too, right? Like if that's how it went down last time. I think we do. We need the jaws of life. Let's do that real fast. Yeah, I told you this is a good call. You get to do all kinds of uh, things in this call, like a ton of different things. Uh, let's get the spreaders. I don't know it would be a better side to go to. I think he's actually closer to the passenger side. See if we can try that. I don't know how this is going to work, guys. Like I said, this is after the uh, updates, uh, you never know. Uh, it doesn't look like. It doesn't look like it's doing much of anything, does it? One of those newfangled titanium cars. You know what? Let's try the other side. And let's get our light going. Someone left a tip the other day about the lights uh, with L. I had totally forgot that. I kept trying to use F because, you know, F flashlight. I mean, crazy thinking that might work. But either way, I never could get it to work of using F, of course, because it never would work. 
And I was thinking, well, maybe it's just bug or it's just not working or whatever. And then someone left a comment and said, Spur, you can use uh, your lights with L. And I was like, thank you. Now I remember that. I totally remember that, but I didn't uh, I didn't before. Yeah, I don't think that's working. I don't think that's doing anything. Uh, yeah, light's not really doing it for me, guys, to be honest. All right, let's put him back. And let's get out of drunk mode there, and we'll grab a hook. We'll see if we can hook the door out, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, to be honest. Yeah, it's in there loose. Now, I do think I recall this being a pain. Last time. Let me get this side. Yeah, I do think I recall this being kind of a pain. We may have to kind of uh, fudge this a little bit here because I can't get the doors loose. Like, they want to move, but I can't pull it out. Let's drop our hook real fast. Let's see, let's drop you here. I was going to see if I could just pick it up and grab it and move it, but it's not letting me. Yeah, I think last time we were able to kind of get it out and we were able to drag them out of the car, but I don't think that's going to happen today. That looks like that's... I can't really tell where he's at, to be honest. I know they're in there. But I can't, I can't lay eyes on him. Uh, I think he's down in the in the floorboard, right? Like he's crammed up in the floorboard. That's not good at all. All right, yeah, we're going to have to fudge this just a tad. Let's pick up. Uh, if it'll let us. Oh, we got another one. We got the spare. <laughs> we got two backboards just in case. Um, I think it was under treatments. Yeah, backboard. There we go. Okay, we got them out now. Let's... Uh, now we can actually treat them. Let's do this. We should have done this first, but we didn't. Uh, let's get him a neck collar. And I think that's going to be good for now. All right, buddy, you hang out right there for just a second, and we're going to get the ambulance and bring it. All right, we're on Medic 1, looking very nice. I really dig the blue. Blue looks good. Yeah, let's get our view situated. There we go. That's a little better. Now we can see where we're going. Luckily, there's no one out tonight because that turn right there is Spurs Corner. If you guys have watched my videos, y'all know anytime I go through that, that hairpin turn back there. Oh, we're going to take out the hydrant. Um, I always meet a car and it's always like a huge ordeal and a pain. It's almost like the uh, garage, the uh, station doors coming down on me. Always happens. All right, let's, uh, let's pull in front. And we'll back up just a tad. All right, that should be good. Man, that rotor array looks so good. I love that. All right, hop out, and uh, I guess we don't need we don't need the air. We can ditch that. Let's grab our stretcher. And I I think we're not going to take it down there. We're not going to take it down there. But we're going to move it around just a little bit. That, that is not what I wanted to do. G, not F, Spur. G. A little, a little misclick there. Uh, let's drop it. And lower it. No, I, I wanted to cut my light off. <laughs> it's like either or. You can't do both. Alright, let's see if we can bring this guy up. This is going to be a little dicey. Alright, let's go. We got him. We got like the 
We went to the uh, Chris Angel School of Levitation. But it worked. It worked. All right, let's get them on there, and we'll start our CPR and all that good stuff. Oops, sorry. I need to step on you. Uh, let's see. There you go. Move patient. All right, sweet. Uh, let's grab our medic bag, too, real fast. It, st <laughs> it still raises it up. Anytime. I guess we just got to have the light on. Like, it's just... just just the way it is. You gotta have the light. Can't do anything about it. Like you could be a hundred feet away from it, and uh, <laughs> it's gonna go up or down. Yeah, let's pick up our EMS bag. Just for role play purposes. All right, let's see what we got going on with this dude. He is still not breathing. Uh, he was in a fire, so I mean, he could definitely have some airway damage and stuff like that. Lung damage, airway damage. What can we do? Let's see if we can bring him back. I hear him. I don't know how that happened, but uh, I hear him. Uh, let's give him Epi, of course. Always default to Epi. And uh, I guess we need to... Look at there. We already got blood pressure. Did you see that? Did you see that? I think we're good. Let's give an IV. Uh, we got his IV going. Let's give him, uh, let's intubate and we'll give him oxygen. I honestly don't know if this stuff is working or not. It used to get a little visual on him now and nothing is, uh, nothing is showing up. So your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it's working. Maybe not. Either way, he's alive. Uh, I'm not going to do the vent. Let's, uh, let's go back to his stats. See what he looks like. Temps 90. Pulse is 56, blood pressure is 86 over 40, pupil 6, uh, respiration 0. So, kind of stands to reason. If he does have airway damage from the heat and the fire and all that, then uh, he has his heart's beating, but he can't breathe. So, oh, there we go. He just popped up. Seven, seven respirations. So, we've got something. Um, I'm not going to vent him. We're not going to do any of that. I think we're good with this for now. Because like I said, I don't know if this stuff is making much of a difference anyway. So we'll just go with what we got. All right, let's, uh, we'll get them loaded up. Drop her bag right here. We'll get them loaded up. We'll get them out of here. Get them this way. I don't know about you guys. This is an observation I've made with the stretcher. It kind of bugs me that we put them in feet first. So y'all tell me, how do they ride? I've never, I've never knock on wood. Never had to experience that. So, um, how does that work? Do they, uh, well, there we go. Yeah, okay, he's right now. He flips him around. Okay, but never mind. Never mind. He's flipped around. All right, let's pick this up, put it away real fast. And uh, he can hang tight there. He's okay. There you go. Return EMS bag. All right. Now we've got all our stuff put away. We'll uh, we'll load up and uh, take him to the hospital. And then we may catch up for one more really super fast call if we can. All right. We're back with another call. This is going to be our last call for the night. Uh, it's going to be for garage fire. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy out of this world, just a simple knock should be. Let's go ahead and load up. Trusty engine one with the bright blue roto ray. There, we've had multiple people report flames coming out of the garage, so it's definitely a big deal. Definitely have a fire. Busy nights. It's a busy night in Montgomery County, right? Got all kind of stuff going on. All right, there we go. There's our garage. Definitely see flames coming out of the top. We'll uh, we'll roll up, uh, size up the scene, and see about getting some water on it. Oh, that building blocks my view every time. Never fails. That right, should be good. Set parking brake. Hop out. He's done busted out of the air. Let's uh, let's go look and see what we got going on. 
All right, so we got a garage, single car garage. It looks like they blocked up the front here and skip coated it with uh, stucco, right? Like that's what I'm seeing. It looks like it is. I mean, I don't know why they they blocked up the the garage, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, it is his doghouse here. He's okay. They took care of him uh, when they noticed it was on fire. I don't see any electrical or uh, gas hookups. Let's take a peek in the window here. There is a vehicle in there. They got a car blocked up inside there. I don't know why. Could be propane tanks, could be gas cans in there, could be all kinds of stuff. We didn't check this door too. Let's check the door, see what we got going on. All right, yeah, it is locked. All right. Let's kill the air. We'll get a Halligan and uh, we'll force that door. There we go, grab you. Oh, my view is, what is going on with my view? Yeah, I don't know what that was about. My view locked up on me. Figures, right? That absolutely figures. <laughs> that absolutely figures. I don't know what happened, but our view, my view locked up like, uh, my character walked off the screen with the Halligan, but uh, the camera stayed in place, and so I hit F2 to try to straighten it out, and uh, we lost our Halligan, so i bring another uh, piece of equipment in. We'll bring the Quint. Do all the things. This one got the red Roto Ray. I noticed the uh, lights on the ladder are no longer green. They were green before, right? Now they're more of a... Uh, more of a yellow do that we'll hit the Q we'll hit the old school old school Q all right I think we're just gonna park on the uh, the side here all right uh, let's grab a Halligan if we can find one I know there's one on here somewhere there we go trusty Halligan now we're good hopefully we won't lose this one All right, let's get our air going and uh, we'll force this door. Guess we could have cut it, maybe. All right, let's drop him down right here and let's go take a peek, see what it looks like. Uh, so we've got a car in there. It is fully involved. Uh, it's up in the rafters too and up in the uh, top of the garage. I don't see anything else. I think we're good. Go get a supply going and we'll get some water on that and knock it out real fast. This is a really easy knock right here. Alright, get our supply. And our hydrant wrench. Sweet. Drop you down. Pull an attack, and we should be good to go. I hear their fire alarm going off in the house. Get you down, and... Get it connected. Man, those supply lines look so good pressurized. They really just do. Actually, I think we need to uh, start the pump at the engine because I haven't been able to do it at the end of the attack line. At least I wasn't earlier. Okay, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's kneel down. Make sure we got some water. All right, good to go. Yeah, no dogs in there. We're good on that. Just wanted to make sure. Go first person here. Nice. I don't know why they would uh, block their vehicle up in the garage, but it totally looks like the front's blocked up. I guess we get some light going here. Uh, what do we got? Still some in the front. Some in the rear as well. 
Oh, it'd be nice if we get that front door open, right? Like, that totally would have been what we needed. A few, a few flames in the rafters there. We should be able to knock that out. Oh, come on. It's being really stubborn, right? We hit it from this side. That's weird. It looked like it was moving, right? Like it was spreading like crazy. It is. What is up with that? All right, let's keep hitting it with water. We're going to spray the whole thing really good because the fire was moving around kind of crazy up there. All right, I think that should have it. Yeah, that totally looks like uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that garage door. I really don't. I don't know what they were doing with that. I don't know what they were thinking. It looks like an old car though. Maybe they blocked it up like a, a time capsule. You know, people luck out, they go to these old barn finds and they find like these uh, amazing, you know, pristine Corvettes and Mustangs and everything. Oh, wow. We just walked right through it. Magic. I told you we went to uh, Chris Angel's school. All right. Uh, we're out of air. Let's kill that before we die. And let's go back to that view. Let's drop you down. That yeah, kills me how some people are so lucky to make those uh, barn finds on cars like that. <laughs> you know, like they'll be pristine, have like, uh, you know, 500 miles on them. Uh, original paint, original interior. All they have is a coat of dust on them. And uh, they're good to go. All right, guys, it looks like we've got this out. Let's double check around it one more time. Make sure it didn't spread out. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about uh, Montgomery County. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up, too, about the topic of Montgomery County, one thing that I've noticed here lately is I've had a hard time uh, getting fires, like forcing fires to pop. Like, I forced the call, but nothing happens. So uh, then you have to do, like, random calls. This one did force, but a lot of them I can't get them to force. So I don't know what's up with that. Let me know in the comments if you have that problem, too, if you see that. Love all you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you on the streets of Montgomery County next time. Peace.